Hello and welcome to this learning video. As you all have seen that in the last learning video we have taken what is Taylor series, what are its wonderful applications and how Taylor series with the help of Taylor series functions can be expanded. Okay, so in this learning video we are here with the very first problem on Taylor series. So let us see what this problem says. The problem says given f of x is equal to x cubed plus 8x squared plus 15x minus 24 this is given to us as, as f of x and we have to find out f of 11 by 10 by Taylor's theorem. So if suppose uh, you are not able to approach to this problem so you can think like what I can do at the most. So at the most I can write as f of 11 by 10 in some other way. So consider this first. So for example, we have this f of 11 by 10. Is it? If you have this f of 11 by 10, how I can write it as? I can write it as like f of 1 plus 1 by 10. Can I write it as? I can write f of 1 plus 1 by 10. Yes. And this can be written as f of 1 plus 0.1. Now I can correlate these things with Taylor series. You know that the Taylor series expansion we have as this f of x plus h is equal to. If we, if we talk in terms of h, we have it to be like what is it? Remember? Yes, f of x plus h, f dash of x plus h square by factorial 2 f double dash of x and so on is it so i have my f of x plus h so f of x plus h so what is the value of x you can take yes anyone correct so you can take x is equal to 1 and what is the value that you can take for h that's a very simple answer point 0.1 Okay, now you want to expand this function as f of x plus h that would be f of 11 by 10. Okay, so to find out this what I need, I need sum of the function, sum function with their derivatives. So very first thing that you need to do in all the problems of Taylor series and Maclaurian series is you write down the given function find out as many as derivative you can like if it is a polynomial then after 3 degree it is going to be 0 but if you have uh, some other function like sine or cos or sometimes some log function or tangent function so in such case what you can do you can find out at least 3 to 4 derivatives minimum 4 will serve the purpose so let us write down the f of x so here I have f of x is equal to x cube plus 8x square plus 15x minus 24. Now find out the sub, uh, successive derivatives of this. So what is f dash of x? 3x square plus 8 to the 16x plus 15. What is second derivative of f of x? Or derivative of this one derivative of this is 6x plus 16 plus 0 one more derivative you can find out f triple dash of x is 6 and rest of the derivative will be 0 so there is no meaning as such in finding out those derivatives okay now just we have seen the uh, Taylor series expansion for f of x plus h in ascending powers of h so that I need f of x, f dash of x and what is the value of x? That's 1. So let us find out all these things. So f of 1. What is f of 1? 1 plus 8 plus 15 minus 24. So 15 plus 8 is 24. So that would be 1. That is 15. 23, 24. That is 0. Then find out f dash of 1. What is f dash of 1? You put x is equal to 1. So 3, 16, 19, 19 and 15. 19 and 15 is 34, right? And then you can find out f double dash of 1 also. 
if the value ratio of 1 is 6, 1 is 6 plus 16, that's 22. And at last, I can find out f triple dash of 1, that's uh, 6. Okay. So whenever you have a problem of Taylor series, the very first thing that you can do is write down the function, find out 3, 4 derivatives and the corresponding value of the function at point whatever you have. Depending on the problem, you can find it. Okay, now what we have to find out? We have to find out f of 11 by 10 with that is equal to f of 1 plus 0.1 means apply the Taylor series expansion. So you can write down one sentence here by Taylor's by Taylor's theorem what do you need to write f of x plus h is equal to what is it yes anyone f of x plus h into f dash of x plus h square by factorial 2 f double dash of x plus h cube by factorial 3 f triple dash of x and other derivatives are 0 that's why I'm not writing the remaining terms okay so now you have the value of x you have the value of h substitute so I'm removing this now this problem question so f of x is 1, h is 0.1 and now you substitute this x is 1, f of 1 plus h, h is 0.1 into f dash of 1 plus 0.1 square by factorial 2, f double dash of 1 plus 0.1 cube by factorial 3 into f triple dash of 1 plus other z other terms contributing 0 so this is 0 now you have all these values so you can substitute these values f of 1 plus 0.1 can be directly written now f of 11 by 10 okay f of 1 x value is 0 plus 0.1 into f dash of 1 that's 34 then 0.1 square is 0 0.01 by factorial 2 is 2 into f double dash of 1 that's 22 and then 0 0.001 by 3 factorial is 6 f triple dash of 1 is also 6 so this get cancelled you can make use of calculator to get the value of this at last you will be getting f of 11 by 10 is equal to you can solve this uh, calculation with the help of calculator so this is coming out to be 3.511 and this completes the problem this is what you wanted to find okay so I hope the problem that we have taken in this uh, learning video is making some sense and uh, so this is what we have in this learning video. So thank you for watching and enjoy learning. Thank you.